All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, according to a publication on Keeper in business partnerships, many um, businesses consider taking on business partners when they are tired of shouldering the burden of running their business alone or they have come to realize the impact of building networks. Now, if you are at the point of jump-starting a new business partnership with anybody, you should know that having a business partner is precisely what it sounds like. Having a partner means choosing someone you can work well with, whom you can share business goals and ideas with. A business partner is someone who can complement your strength, weaknesses, and skill set, and this should be the first thing you look out for. Now, a lot of good uh, can come out of forming a business partnership. Think of it as an opportunity to combine resources. You don't have to improve your business um, all by yourself. How do you think more people can begin to start to run um, successful businesses? That's the question we're asking today. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081-8038-4663. You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa Award with the hashtag Wayshow. I didn't realize that we had a lawyer in the, in the beauty before we now decided to talk about partnerships <laughs> but money quickly before i bring in our guest i want to i want to hear your two cents on this business partnerships first of all would you go into a partnership with anyone um, to run a business so, well definitely yes answer is yes so everything about life nowadays is about platforms partnerships you understand people so um yes i would go into a partnership with somebody i've actually even explored it with my firm you know and i'm still looking at it so what I would say about partnerships is um, most of the time you see people, <clears throat> they have a vision, come up with a vision, mm -hmm. and they want to run with it, which is a very good thing to do, but they forget about the very important thing to do, which is to get a lawyer. Mm. So before, <laughs> I'm not saying this because I'm a lawyer, <laughs> but I'm telling you that the first thing you do is business name. Is there any business without a business name? And if you choose a business name, who's going to help you register the business? Mm. So you need a lawyer to help you register. You need a lawyer to help you draw up your memorandum of association, articles of association, which talk about the root of the business, shareholders, shareholdings, regulations and laws. You need a lawyer to help you to structure to build structure. Nowadays, what everybody is saying about Peter OB is, there's no structure, there's no structure. So we understand the importance of having structure in your business. Mm. So for me, I think that partnerships are very good, but first things first, get a lawyer. <laughs> Straight to the point. <laughs> I believe in collaborations, actually. Everything yeah. that I've done you know, over the years has been as a result of collaborations. But I, I learned very quickly that before we even start to say, I love you, I love you, let us sign the document. Exactly. <laughs> Absolutely. So Frank Nwakpa is a business administration graduate of Caleb University. He founded his first company, Property King, which deals with property sales and management in 2020 after COVID. And in 2022, he formed the late night food truck called Hangover Grills, which has generated millions in just a few months of incorporation. Now, Tejiri, on the other hand, Yowari, <laughs> is a graduate of Babcock University, now founder of Swift Kings Logistics and Auto Rental Package Delivery and Moving Company. She said these people are powerful people. He also worked as head of public relations at um, Wellman Group in 2020, after which he attended the Nigerian Law School in Ah, okay. In 2021, oh, yeah. <laughs> 2022 session, mm. he is the co-partner of Hangover Grills, um, the late night food truck, which has generated, as I said earlier, a few millions, right? In just a few months of incorporation. And yeah, might I add, they're handsome guys, you know, just check in in case you're looking. <laughs> and they joined, they joined us live in studio. Thank you so much. Uh -uh. So before we even talk, money, we don't go to ourselves. There's a lawyer here. Lawyer <laughs> to be. Oh, lawyer to be. But thank you so much for joining us. First of all, you guys are really handsome. You know that. I hope they told you that. So was it a criteria for the partnership? Yeah, because it means that the partnership is going to work. Because of the same fellas. Fuck you. But hey, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Um, I mean, tell us because I read a bit of the story around how the business started right um what made you guys say you know what i think it's time and let's come together 
and do this. First of all, your business idea is fantastic. Thank because you. Because nightlife in Lagos, Omar, <laughs> you're going to clean out, right? <laughs> but tell me what, what prompted the choice of doing this with a partner as opposed to just going all out when the idea came. Okay, so first things first, the business came from a point of experience. I'm not saying we are nice club goers. So we are, we are, it's okay. We, are we don't judge goers, It's but, a no judgment table. <laughs> but yeah, like we go out a lot. We see things, nightlife and everything like that. Our boys. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think um, in December or January, I was at a particular club. The club where our truck is currently located, located in. Then I was thinking to myself, normally when I... After drinking, I need to get food. I need to get something to eat. Not yeah. like I'm a drunkard or anything, but... <laughs> Why are but, you doing a disclaimer? But, you don't worry. It's a no judgment zone. Who is the lawyer? You the lawyer. No, no that's the lawyer. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I, was, I, I thought to myself, ah, normally I go to some other spots to get food, go from this club, go to this other spot, get food, then go home. I said, ah, there can be something here. Like, in, this place has a big compound space and everything like that. Next day, we were casually talking, and I told him about the idea and everything like that. And he was like, yeah, man, this is awesome. We should look into this. And boom, that's how it came about. Hmm. Teddy <laughs> 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 is just thinking of all the millions they paid. But, but let me hear your thoughts. So why did you accept to go into the business? Was it just because the business was fantastic, or you looked at the person that you were do going to that partnership with? Um, so... Firstly, we've been doing things before, mm. but it's not like something concrete, like, okay, guy, this one day, let's go here, this one day, let's go there. We've been partners for yeah. a while, mm -hmm. you know, different aspects. So when he came... Partners in crime, too. <laughs> 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 crime, <not> crime. <laughs> <laughs> so when he pitched the thing to me, I'm like, bruh, we, 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 we need to act fast, we need to act fast, and that was it, you know, that was it. Okay. I, but so the reason why I entered it is because of we've had prior experience and I'm like, you know what, this is good. This is my guy, we've done things together, so why not? Yeah. And everything we've done, like by the grace of God, has, has been, been successful. You know. hmm. So okay. yeah. Lawyer has question for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know, maybe I should still ask this question. I'm not just gonna ask you. I know that you're a lawyer in the making. So do you have anything, any legal document that is binding you guys together yes. and securing your bag? Yes, we have a partnership agreement. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you have an exit plan? Um, no, we don't. <laughs> Not yet. Don't let me know. Don't worry. You're a consult lawyer. Go ahead. Yes, because it's very important. You're a lawyer in the making. You're going to find out. When people come together to you know, start a business, it's always very rosy. It's just like any marriage that we know about. Because this is what it is. It's a marriage. So in the beginning, the love is very sweet, it's very shaky, shaky, you know, but after some time, you start experiencing some things that come out of differences from the two of you, and then you now start thinking, I don't know if this is such a good idea anymore. It's, I'm not saying it's going to happen for you, but I'm saying that when you are going into a marriage, you think about different things. So we have, um, in, in, in abroad, we have people think about these things, and they sign some documents so that... When I'm exiting, I will this leave happens, what this, I, yes. I bring so that there are no issues. So it's always advisable for people to always think about an exit plan. It may not even be that, there's, that this exit plan arises it's from, from fight, a problem. No. It might just be that your business has gone full circle and you need to um, pivot into something else. So I think you guys need to look at that. Yes, we, 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 I mean, we have a clause, yes. but it's not as concrete as... Mm. Yeah, so it, de it depends yeah. on the kind of lawyer you see. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the business, right? Um, so it's one thing for you to think about an idea, like you said, and it's another thing for that idea to actually just, you know... So why, why, what do you think is the why for you as your business? Why is your business doing exceptionally well you know in just a few months i mean um one thing i would say is as a young man you watch you read a lot of books and watch a lot of things and you hear them say look for where you can add value mm. so we saw that this is value 
we're bringing value to the table. Basically, solve the problem. So we solve the problem, you know, and that was and that was that was one reason why because this is a problem that mm. can be solved. Mm. You know, keep on looking for problems everywhere mm. to try and solve. So uh, that was it. You know, there was a problem, and you know, um, we solved it. And when you solve a problem, you make money. Mm. So it's true. Yeah, <laughs> because money goes in the direction of value. value. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm going to come back to a question that I want to discuss because a lot of times when people want to start up businesses, right, funding is always a challenge. Mm, yes, my lady. But we'll go on a very short break. <laughs> when we come back from that break, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing starting and running a successful partnership in Nigeria. And we have with us Frank and Tejiri, right? The owners of, what's it, Grill? The Hangover, Hangover Grills. Grills. That's the, huh? Oh, no, wow. <laughs> Problem. <laughs> Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 You can also tweet at us at Wayshow Africa one with the hashtag Wayshow. So you see, with your own stories there, I actually love it. You understand? Some other m- m- men will just go and drink, will not think. <laughs> As you are drinking, be thinking about to make replenish the pocket back. <laughs> but Tejiri and uh, Frank, they entered, they drank. You know what? Like, ah, oh, I'm hungry. And I decided. In what state? Uh-uh. Did they think they were, they were high in the spirit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I said, ah, I'm, I'm hungry, <laughs> so why can't I, you know, but some other men, you just go and drink your future away, you know, <laughs> but hey, Tedri and, uh, what's it called, Tedri and Frank, they've created a business from this, and I, I must say, it's, it's really amazing, when I saw it, I said, ah, it's really true, because, ha, ah, Lagos, but let me hear your journey around fundraising, because it's one thing for you to say, okay, I have a business, it's another thing for you to have funds to run the business. Then when we move from that, we'll move into staffing. Okay. Because, yeah, these are all challenges that businesses face, okay. right? So let's start with fundraising, you know, who, who is bringing in the money or is it a 50-50 thing? Okay, so initially, the idea wasn't meant to be a food truck. It was meant to be a food spot, but not a truck. But the club wanted something that during the day, it can move out. Mm. Then we come in in the night. So we thought to ourselves, oh, what exactly can we do that would fit that mm. description? That's how we came about the food truck. So in terms of funding, when we were venturing into this business, we didn't think <laughs> we would require some certain amount of funds. We just thought it's chicken and chips. Yes, we just wanted to sell. <laughs> So, is it not grilled chicken and okay. chips and plantain? Mm-hmm. Then we now started trying to source for funds. Initially, there was a particular amount me and him agreed to bring in because it's a 50 50 partnership. So, he brought his own share, I brought my own share. That, that, that did, it, did something. <laughs> he, went, he, went, he, went, he went where he went to. He went where he went to. Yes. <laughs> let's just, let's just say yeah. that. But yeah, we started getting pressure from the club to deliver as like other people have started coming to pitch the idea. Pitch the idea. We wow. sp- spoke to a couple of our friends that we believed could invest in the business, but it didn't <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it didn't pull through. People that we believe that okay at any point in time if you speak to this guy about the business idea because I've never spoken to him before about such it could come through but everything failed. Nobody 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 that you expect to say okay. This is my egg bon. Or is it this is my big you know, you know Let me, let me. <laughs> about your net worth being mm. your net worth. Mm. So I always tell people to just try and access the people around them. Their, <clears throat> their, their circle. If you cannot raise 10 million naira in one hour from your friends, you should change your friends. I mean, so, well, I mean that's, that's yeah. one thing. Mm. Yeah. That's one thing. I agree to that. But yeah. when a situation or in a world where these people that see you as okay, maybe their boy has an idea, mm. and my, ah, this guy do this thing now. Mm. If you know they respect me, do you understand? Mm. So they would date is is something I agree to that. But mm. why in Nigeria? Mm. Let's let's call it speed, speed. These people that the way I saw it was okay. 
So you want to play with the big boys. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, and, this... and in terms of network, I believe we had a pretty good network. Mm-hmm. And yeah. these are people that we don't ask for things like we've never gone to meet them. Oh, so we believed, okay, if we meet these people on this particular occasion, they would say yes. They would be interested. We tried a lot of spoke to them proposals and all what not i get back to you oh i'll do this i'll do that and one day we're just in the car thinking of the next possible solution as we are getting pressure from the club i went to take a loan wow 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 so i'll pay it back though i'll pay it back congratulations yeah like we, 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 we pay back Everything, every single, every single, single loan. nothing. So now we are just friends. Eh? We are day now. I mean, they come to buy food. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> <laughs> but, but is it possible that they didn't see the vision? They Everybody saw the vision. Oh, Everybody. they did. There's no. Is 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 so clear mm. that you know? Okay, um, why didn't I think of this? Uh, yeah, there's I, people I that work there now. Themselves. Why didn't I think of this? Mm. You know, everybody saw the vision, and we needed to, mm. we needed to act fast. You know, everybody saw the vision, and we're also scared. To tell some people the vision because yeah, it's one I thing to have finances. In. Yes. Yes, yeah. you have finances, you just go behind, okay, I bet bros. I can't I'll do it. Let as me well. let mm. me and you know. So but yeah, we thank God, you know. So 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 staffing. Hmm. <laughs> 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 we're, we're dealing with real life business. <laughs> see the, the, the reason, me, I love my show. I don't like for yeah, we know they talk BB grammar. So that somebody is listening out there and they are understanding how business is yeah, the dynamics. Of the we don't want to come and bring aspire to perspire. Let us say it as it is. Staffing. How has that been for the business? First thing I want to say that I don't think Barry is the problem of the country. Uh, uh, thank you. Uh, we, we are welcome problems. to the we club. Are the problem of the country. Yeah. Welcome. Because a lot of people say, oh, no jobs, no this, no that, but you give them opportunities and they just misuse it. I hired somebody, I fired him in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> I think I fired, we fired somebody in less than 90s. Yeah, yeah. I fired somebody, somebody in 24 hours before. Mm-hmm. Okay. He was just frying and putting his mouth frying. <laughs> 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 You are joking. <laughs> you are joking. And if you, if you approach him, he's just tasting what he's frying. Yeah. And be sure that he's sure that that enough there's, sound. There's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was two days. It was two so, days. Okay, okay. Yeah. when you're done frying today, you're just. Yeah. You know, I am <laughs> a very hungry person. Yeah. And also, we made another. For staffing, one mistake we made was so starting a food business, mm. you have your recipe book. Mm. You have your recipe book. But as amateurs in the business, we didn't know at the time you that at them. first. No, we didn't even have a recipe book. So you know how to cook. We can cook. Okay, so we put things together, mm. you know, and put okay. it together. So, so the taste kept changing. Yeah. That's it. Was it. Not consistent. And they were now like, okay, they had like a monopoly of, of things, you know, okay. Because of, I mean, they make yeah. this one. Mm-hmm. This guy, if you do me like this, so mm-hmm. they, they can resume when they want, go when they want. You know, and do as, as they want. So when we fired the first guy, everybody sat up. You mm. know, made our recipe book, put everything in order, you know. Uh, fantastic. fantastic. But, 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 but we, 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 had, we, had, we had serious, serious issues. Yeah. Okay, um, I know that this is working now, where you are, the club that you're um, selling. How about your plans for future expansion? I was do killing. you mm-hmm. want to, since you have a truck now, but you only come out at night to sell, mm-hmm. what's your plan for daytime sales? What's your plan for the future? Okay, in terms of plan for the future, before December or November, we shall have a second truck in Under Club awesome. in Lagos. Currently in the works. Long time expansions, daytime sales. We're looking at an app. Like yes. a hangover grill yeah, app I like that. that we can run 24 mm-hmm. hours so you mm-hmm. can get food at any time of the day. What's that? That's how I run 24 hours. Because yeah. yeah. we don't want to just target drunk people anymore. We want to target like <laughs> the nightlife well, you or really, people that people target, that. Eh? Drunk, yeah. Your eh? target is actually hungry men, not drunk at people. night. Yeah. yeah it means hungry everything, men everything, at night. everything, like, men. everything, <laughs> everything in comparison. It's not just the. Not drunk people, though. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're uh, you're scaling to you know opening more more trucks. Yes. Yes. The app, you know, and all of that. So, how do you plan to manage? Because I mean, KFC started from just mm-hmm. somewhere. Well, I think it was even in his kitchen. If I remember the story correctly. Mm-hmm. And see where they are today. They have a huge franchise. I mean, anybody that knows that um, anything about business, you know that anything that has to do with food. 
whether you like it or not. I can decide not to wear cloth tomorrow. I can be walking naked, but I, I must fill my tummy, right? Food is one business that if you get it right, I mean, it would, it would really go far in terms of how you run the business. So um, scaling, is it just the truck we're looking at or we're looking at um, maybe opening restaurants or how do, will the modalities change for you in the future? We're looking at like a venue where we, first of all, want to have trucks outside. We want to have, during the whole nation, not just Lagos, mm. Abuja, Port Harcourt, is part of the vision. But we also want to have places where you can come and pick up your food. Because one thing we do is quick services. Mm. You know, we don't want it to be far where, you know, so if, we're, if we have a place in VI now, it will serve Lekki Phase 1 or maybe Ikoi. The yes, they will now open one again. Ikeja, in, so that it's Mena, close. You don't have to... You don't have to wait. Mm. Uh, one thing we are doing is quick speed, quality food with speed. Mm. You know that's. So I saw that. I think in your profile it was there was something around parties. So you take the trucks to events yes. to do. So, so outside of just um, catering to these guys, you guys also move the the, the products to Order. events and parties and all of that. Yes. That's a fantastic. Yeah, business, I so. think I think you can also try moving them to businesses like banks. I used to work in the bank and we always had some guys come in their cars, bosses to sell us foods in parks okay. and it was a big sell. So maybe you should also try oh, that yeah. as well. Okay. We have bank, we have different big, you know, organizations. So you should try the afternoon it's just that your business is now going to be 24 hours how I mean, you we don't mind. plan don't to mind. rest it, uh, how you going there are a lot of shifting. things that come to that now. we can do shifting okay. we, shift, we don't we mind we, we, yeah. we can mm. we can do that <laughs> 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 especially him i've been looking at him <laughs> 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 even there's, there's a twinkle in his eye <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 when you talk about money it just lights up but i was going to say so what has been the biggest challenge right so outside of staffing and all of that we know that the business environment like you rightly said in nigeria is quite you know somebody was i think it was uti that said nigeria doing business in nigeria is like extreme sports you know you ha everything is just attacking you there's inflation right cost of um products are going up a lot of things are happening. How are you managing and adjusting to the current situations, the changes? I mean, you want to buy even a cent leave in the market. They tell you say dollar don't go up. <laughs> and I'm being like, it was in your backyard. You know, that's you the damn thing. <laughs> you, know, you want to buy cent leave. That's why I had to go to cent leave. You want to buy cent leave in the market. They will tell you that dollar has gone up. And that's why the price of cent leave is high. So how are you um, managing that um, customer expectations and customer um, like changing preparing their minds, price. changes in the pricing, how are you coping with pricing, you know, outside of, you know, just your regular day-to-day -day business? I mean, so right now, we, a new business needs customers. Hmm. So we cannot hike our prices without customers. So our prices are there to fit our customers, you know, and we are not making a loss. So we are okay where we are for now. Hmm. So our prices are, where, how we opened is how we are. I think one of our major challenges is you know having people come and then they owe us mm. you know a lot of people come oh, that's so one of that. the major challenges okay, you know okay. the so people come i mean because it's in the middle of the night somebody's transfer isn't working okay give me your number so that because we've given you the food already mm. you know so we're working towards you know and that's for pricing even, even, even with friends like you have friends that come okay uh, it's, it's frankie's place now it's frank's clarkson's place now Duh. let me just get food now okay get food finished i don't oh guy i'll send it to you <laughs> or oh i'll do a transfer later or something like that and you message them oh bro what's up now for your bill and everything like that oh they'll feel like okay ah, is it not frank ah, i'll send the money i'll send the money do you understand but currently we tango we are Tackling that problem with some certain solutions. Yeah, some they, certain you solutions. know, there's a parable that says, when the hunter learns how to shoot without missing, the monkey learns how to jump without stopping. So when you know that this is what you're tackling, you know, um, if I want to call mention a name, I'll say like Buka Hot, you have to pay for the suya before you take the payment receipt to the malam. Before you, you pick hand it up. you the suya. You just put it so, put but a you can put place. that system in place, you know, to cut that out. Mm. Yeah, we're, we're definitely mm. working on that. Like you said, you know, this was our first time yeah. doing something like this. Start, so start up, yeah, like we're just this. trying to put a system, and we've just been three months in. Mm. So we're trying to put a system. But currently, we have a system that has tackled all of that. Mm. 
Okay. So I think we're, we're getting You're on the roll now. We're getting there. So if you had one thing to say to people, your customers, what would that be? Let me start from Tijiri, the money man. <laughs> so customers or people, which one is it? Uh, so let us start with your customers first of all. Um, customers, we hope you keep on coming. We hope you like our food. <laughs> We hope you keep on getting drunk. <laughs> Shut your eyes and But don't drive. drink and drive. Don't, don't drink and drive, drive, but get drunk. But get drunk. So you can be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so you can make money. We hope you keep on coming. We hope you like our food. We're doing our best to make sure we meet your needs. Yes. Mm. So if you had something to say to uh, the people, or would you say to the government, well, which one would you face? People, though. <laughs> yeah, because government doesn't really... You know they work in the night now, so government sleeps in the night. So. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so to people, I say if there's an idea hmm. you think is good, go for it. Don't, don't and, relent. And another thing I want to say to people is when you share your ideas, don't share it with people that we discourage killers. Like mm. if I told him, oh. Let's put a food truck. Let's do a food truck. The guy, you know, if people don't think I'm... Um, Thank you. Bro, just free that pill. Let's just be chilling. And I don't think we would have been where we are today because I would have gone and thought, man, it's true, shall he? Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think this thing would... But I told him he was very ginger. The next day, we went to go and speak to the owners of the club. And since then, we started pushing it. And we're here today. So I just feel like when you have an idea, don't share too much. But if you're sharing it, share with people that have positive mindsets that want to see things happen. Obviously, every business is not going to work out. But even if even if it doesn't work out, at least you still tried. Right, yeah. So all I can see is two handsome guys. <laughs> First of all, let's come back. Wait, now. Nah. We, have, we still have some more time. Okay. Let's talk the other side of the relationship. Because you know why? This is a very important question. Partnership can be ruined <laughs> by our agenda. And I can both, I can boldly say that you know <laughs> what is your Achilles heel? What? <laughs> Let's be doing this. Still a young boy. <laughs> I know you're young. You're in your twenties. Twenties. Both of you are in your twenties, right? Early twenties. Early twenties. Oh, what are serious? You are too fine to be in your twenties. <laughs> so it's only older men that are fine. Are you? They are even finer when they are younger. Ha, money. I'm not here. <laughs> I'm, not I'm sorry, old guys. Watching. <laughs> <laughs> ah, sorry. Well, I was just going to ask that. Um, so, because you, you know why? Um, I mean, everybody knows that every time issues around relationships starts to come in, someone has to say, How come Frank is the one collecting this one? How come Frank is the one in the face? Why can't you do, it? Can't you do it? Why do you, you know, how are you guys prepared for that? Because you need it. I mean, that's why. Mani was saying that at every point in time, you must cross every single thing. Do you yeah. So how are you guys prepared for that in the future? Like somebody comes into the picture, what then happens? Okay, so in term currently, I think we understand ourselves so far. Mm. I... He wrote his law school exam August to September and was away for like three weeks, two, three weeks, social media. We hardly spoke and everything like that, but... I handled everything. Mm. Likewise, when I travel, like there are times I'll travel two weeks, one week. Like I don't take business calls from him or anything because I might be busy. But he's not going to say, oh, or anybody's not going to say, oh, guy, oh, I did this, I did that. Like I'm doing more than you, or mm. yeah, do you understand? Like I'm doing more work than you, or I'm never going to say, oh, guy, I did this, I did that, guy. That time I lost, school, guy, I was doing everything. That type of thing. So I think so far so good. Why the partnership have worked out is because we already had a working relationship mm. before mm, yes. we started this business. Mm. Supply, logistics, and different other things. Mm. Because for little things like, because most people don't let things go. For example, let's say, I remember when we were picking the logo, it took, it was giving us some hard time. And I saw I was like, bro, pick anyone you pick, I'm okay, I'm okay with it, mm. you know. So there's that relationship already. You know, when we pick some small, small things that shouldn't cost a fight. Mm. And it's about to, I say, uh, bro. But I, see, I seem like Frank is the one that is more very detailed. Like, at everything, must cross it, you must. <laughs> Tell me a bit. Tell me. Because he's... 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 Because
but also do some funny maybe drafting and all of that you know by virtue of Yo, yes, profession. but when it comes to the business, mm. this is it. This is that. It's, it's Frank. It's Frank. Yeah. Frank. We're really proud of you guys. Yeah, thank you very much. Fantastic. I mean, when I saw the, I said, why not? We we are always happy to showcase young businesses. Not because um, we just feel like probably talking. We want to tell Nigerians that it is possible. Yeah. I believe strongly in the power of collaboration. I don't know why people are not thinking of getting people to join, like hands together, we would have gone farther in yeah. terms of our business structures and all of that if we were in great partnerships with people. So for every single time I see young people, and I see them doing something together, and I see partnerships that work, we're always happy to have that conversation. And that's why, you know, we are, we're having this conversation with you guys. But thank you so much. Thank you. So thank we're you see, much looking for forward to more partnerships. Amen. For young guys like you, because I have sons who, you know, they don't write business plan. They don't business plan at age uh, 14 or 16. They were writing business plan, yeah. like six of them. They'll be doing Zoom meeting and all that. I don't take them seriously. Oh, so should I start to take them seriously? You, you yes. might be shocked. Really? I, I take my, my son is nine. He's my baby and I take him seriously. Hmm. When he tells me how he's going to pay my bills in the nearest future, I know he's going to. Uh -huh. I think it's not about your abuse, Auntie. <laughs> <laughs> it's about them building the business structure that works. Well, abuse, abuse, abuse is important to you. Yeah. But I was wondering because honestly, they did a proper like a proper organogram, the structure. Because my son is the you know the book, owner, so they said you are the whatever. This is the CEO. They don't draw structure. That, that's how it starts. Absolutely. So, yeah. but I think we'll pay attention more. Maybe again, your age is also helping matters because you guys are young, so it's easy to just you know. By the time family matters start to enter, you know. But I'm hoping that by then they the business will have, have been really grounded under control. and all of that. Yeah. But thank you so much, guys. We had thank fun. So thank you we hear much. you guys are bringing us grills. Yes, yes, so yes. in case you see me chewing something, <laughs> Don't on, like, ah, please bring our grills. They said the grills is here. Are you able to know that they brought us grills? Today is the best day. <laughs> No, 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 I'm tired, I'm hungry, I need to eat, like seriously. This is the real hangover here. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> See our grills, thank hey. you so much. Ah, ah. Oh, wow, beautiful package, you know. Hey, viewers. Viewers, so see us, so we got, we got our package. Oh, I open up. Oh, Father open Lord. Sesame. And we now have two seconds to go, God help us. Like, yeah, I feel sorry oh for you. Oh my God. <laughs> Where is she? Uti, and nice. Uti was supposed to be here. Uti, are you watching? Oh, it's heavenly. Mm. Thank you so much, guys. Yo. We're going to love it with the hangover in us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm high on it. All right, so before we go, do ensure you follow us on Instagram at Way Show Africa. Someone says, well done, guys. Fire, fire on Instagram, um, YouTube. Follow us on Instagram at Way Show Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media. Like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed today's quote, here's it again. Right? Coming together is a beginning. Staying together is a progress. And working together is a success. And we can tell from Teji and Frank that they are doing successfully well, and we know they will get better and bigger by the grace of God. Amen. 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 See you guys on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another future. great conversation. <laughs> Monday has already started eating to your screen. Ain't nobody got Enjoy. <laughs>